Hey everyone, I'm Marco, and I'm here to help you unravel the mysteries of tire sidewalls. Have you ever wondered what all those numbers and letters mean? Well, buckle up because we're about to decode the secrets of tire markings. Both metric and flotation tires are used on vehicles, but they differ in the marking system and intended use. Choosing the right tire depends on your vehicle and needs. If you prioritize off-road capability and the ground clearance, flotation might be suitable. If you need detailed specifications for different driving styles and vehicle types, metric is the way to go. And this is the more common marking system. Here's the breakdown. Metric tire sizes employ a code like 31530ZR22, conveying detailed information about the tire's height, width, aspect ratio, load capacity, and speed rating. This system caters to a wider range of vehicles from passenger cars to SUVs and even some trucks. Now, the letters in front like P, LT, or even no letter at all, indicate the tire type. P stands for passenger car, LT for the light truck, and no letter might even mean a European metric tire. It's like the tire's way of saying, this is what I'm made for. The first three numbers are the width of the tire in millimeters. In this case, 315 wider is generally grippier with the larger contact patch, but heavier. Next is the aspect ratio, 30 here, which is the sidewall height as a percentage of the width. Think tall and skinny versus short and stubby. Next is a letter for construction type. R means radial, which is the most common. And finally, the last two numbers are the diameter in inches. These are 22 inches, and of course, they need to match your wheels. Next up, the load index and speed rating. It's a combo of numbers and letters that tell you the load capacity and speed rating. For example, 107Y, the 107 represents the load index, which is how much weight the tire can handle. The higher the number, the more weight it can handle. Y is the speed rating, which is like the tire's speed limit. It ranges from Q to Z, and Q being the slowest, and Z being the fastest. But unless you are planning to break land speed records, you're probably good with H or V rating. Flotation tire sizes keep it simple, using three numbers. Overall diameter, like 33 inches. Section width, like 12 and a half inches. And rim diameter, like 20 inches. This format prioritizes information directly relevant to off-roading and heavy-duty use on trucks. SUVs and similar vehicles focusing on ground clearance width and compatibility with wheels. Off-road tires with flotation sizes are specifically designed for rugged terrain and extreme conditions. They typically feature unique tread patterns and construction to deliver optimal performance in these demanding environments. Sizes commonly used for off-road tires range from 31 inches to 44 inches in diameter. Unlike the millimeter-based metric system, Flotation sizes directly use inches for all measurements, although metric equivalents might be available. For instance, a size like LT 325-65 R18 is similar to 35-12.5 R18 in flotation terms. Let's break down the components of this Venom Tires Swamp Thing MT33-12.5 R20 LT. The first number, 33, represents the tire's overall diameter in inches. The second number set, 12 and a half, indicates the tire's width in inches. The letter R signifies the tire's internal construction type, specifically radial in this case. The final number 20 represents the diameter of the wheel, also in inches. Those are the basics of the tire size, but there's more. Ever notice those funky looking numbers with the DOT acronym? That's the Department of Transportation number, and it's like the tire's birth certificate. This tells you where and when it was manufactured. Handy if you want to know how old your tires are or to check if there's any recalls. Sometimes you'll see bonus info. MS mud and snow symbol. It's a sign your tire can handle a bit of off-road action in winter weather. 3P MSF, Three Peak Mountain Snowflake Certified. Perfect for tackling those snowy terrains. Load range for light trucks, this tells you how much weight it can handle at a specific pressure. Max inflation. This is the highest pressure you can safely pump into the tire. Don't exceed it. Basically, the sidewall is like the tire's user manual. Follow these guidelines and you're good to go. And there you have it, folks. Reading a tire sidewall made easy. Now you'll be cruising down the road with a whole new level of tire knowledge and understanding to help you choose the right tire for your ride. Be sure to like and subscribe for more tips and content from Venom Power Tires. Share this video with your friends and family who care about their rides. Leave a comment below with your own tire care questions or experiences. Stay safe out there and happy driving.